Most people have really focused on dehydration over the years. The fact that when athletes uh, are involved in exercise or endurance activities, they lose a lot of water, they can get dehydrated, and that may affect their performance. What's underappreciated is that sometimes athletes can go too far and drink too much water. And that can lead to a separate condition that we've called exercise-associated hyponatremia. And what that really amounts to is that when athletes drink too much, when they overdrink the capacity to get rid of that water in their urine, and they overwhelm the ca capacity of the kidneys to excrete that water, they get overhydrated. And the manifestations are that it lowers the body's sodium level, and that can lead to severe signs and symptoms. It can lead to seizures. It can even lead to death. And What's striking is that we know of many deaths that have occurred across the world when athletes have overhydrated. And the sad thing is, and the tragic thing is, that these are people who've gone out with the best intentions, who are otherwise completely healthy. They overdrink, and unfortunately, there's been numerous deaths. Our, our goal here is that no athlete should die from this condition. That uh, the prevention is very simple. It just requires education of trainers, coaches, athletes to think about what they're doing to avoid overhydration so that we don't have any tragic deaths. That's a big win for us.